So Adam, was the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a magician? No, he wasn't. He's a prophet. He's a prophet, exactly. He's so a prophet that he can't be a magician. Exactly, he can't be a magician. South World, Dubai, in association with Gifters, your halal family friendly restaurant. <laughs> Today I am joined by <laughs> Abdullah and Azhari. This little guy and I your brother, of course. You're his brother and Salim al and down there. What's your name? Kudud al Azhari. Okay, now remember everybody, we were saying that the Prophet wasallam was on a mountain. He called the people to believe in Islam. Now Abdullah, what did they say? The Prophet Muhammad said, yeah. if I told you an army yeah. were here to call you, yeah. then would you believe me? Yes. And then they said yes. But then he said, yeah. but then he said, yeah. if, if I told you not yeah. to worship idols, but to worship Allah, would you believe me? Yeah. And they said no. Correct. And then we said, stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> And Abu Lahab was there, and Abu Lahab was, was he was related he to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wasted their time. Huh? Yes, he said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wasted their time. But let me explain. Okay, you confused me there as well. Let me explain to everyone what happened. Abu Lahab was related to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was his uncle. He was his uncle. Good. Now, Adam. How was it? You've been uncle? reciting this story. I didn't think he was his uncle. Yeah, Abu Lahab, the bad person. He was the uncle was, of the Prophet Muhammad yeah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he doesn't worship Allah. That, yeah. How is he an uncle? Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that, oh. Yeah, but you remember Prophet Noor? Good question. Hold on, let me ask this really important question. Important question. Abdurrahman said a very important question. How can he be an uncle of a prophet that he was still a bad person? And he didn't worship. And he didn't worship Allah. How about Prophet Noor? His he was son. His son didn't worship Allah. Allah. Exactly. His wife didn't worship Allah. Yes, so it shows us that just because you're a prophet doesn't mean your family members will be good. Uh, but that's his uncle. Yeah. His uncle yeah. would be teaching him how to be no, bad. Not he, telling him how to be bad. Yeah, but that shows how bad he was. And then Allah revealed a surah because Abu Lahab said, Is this what you brought us for to tell us that to worship Allah and to, to go to Jannah and stay away from Jahannam and stay away from our idols? Is this what you brought us for? And Allah revealed a surah which Adam has been reciting. Excellent. Now come down. That's okay. Come down. That's okay. Don't worry. We're learning, isn't it, Adam? Now, Adam, let me ask Adam a question. He did. Let me ask Adam. Adam, Abu Lahab said that his money and his children will protect him from Allah. Is that true? Click subscribe so you know when we post a new video. No, it's not true at all, okay? I know it protects me. Only that Allah can protect you. Money can't do anything except for my stuff. Yeah, exactly. Can't protect you from Allah. And Abu yeah, because Allah can just take your money and you don't even know. Exactly. Now, Abu Lahab was married to a person called Umm Jamil and she was also very bad to the Prophet wasallam. So Allah says in this verse, then Allah says that Yes, Allah says that Umm Jamil, the wife of Abu Lahab, is going to be wearing a masad. What's a masad, Mariam? Yeah, what's a masad? A masad is a necklace. It's like a necklace Yeah. fire. Exactly. It's a necklace of fire. Oh, coals. Yeah, it's like a necklace of fire. So Allah is saying that she's going to be where? A necklace of fire. Where is she going to be? In? Jahannam. Jahannam. And so all the children, they went around to, uh, to, to Umm Jamil, to this lady, and they started saying this surah and reciting this surah, just like how Adam did. Why did they recite it? Because they're telling her you're going to go to? Jahannam. Jahannam. And she became very angry. You know what she did? But she she took... Them. No. Were there, were there, were there children there? The children were good, yeah. The children were good. So she took a rock 
and she went to go and try and no to throw at the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to try and kill him. But the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was with his best friend whose name was. Don't forget your Azhari Raptor from the Azharis.com. Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, excellent. And Abu Bakr. Yeah. I think he saved. Not quite. What happened was Abu Bakr was there, and when Um Jamil got there to throw the rock at the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu oh, alaihi wasallam, she couldn't see him. He became invisible. Allah oh, made yeah, because he was a prophet. Allah made him invisible to her, and so what does it show us? It shows us if we are good to Allah, Allah, and we listen to what Allah says. If we meet Um Jamil, then we'll turn invisible. Not quite. That was just for the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at this point in time. But it shows us that when we tell the truth, when we tell yeah. us what Allah wants us to say and do, Allah will protect us even when people want to harm us. Just like yeah, how the Prophet so got protected. If we meet people like Um Jamil, then we will turn invisible. Not quite. But <laughs> hold that thought while we go to competition time. Competition time! We're at home with the Azaris. Everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks. Go past the code breaker page, past the sticker page, and past the reward chart until you reach the last page for this particular episode. What you will see there is competition time. I'm going to ask a question, and in your workbooks, you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as fast as you can, and let's have a competition to see if you at home can beat the Azharis here. You get two points for every correct answer. Question number one, everybody. When we put our shoes on, which shoe do we put on first? Is it number one, our left shoe or our right shoe? <laughs> if you think it's our left shoe first, put number one. If you think it's our right shoe, put number two. Abdurman said two, Adam said two, Mariam said two. Abdullah said two. Well done, everyone. The correct answer is number two. We always right move up the leaderboard. There are some hard questions coming. Keep really focused. We <laughs> everyone got the correct answer. MashaAllah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number two, everybody. Which animal was sent to Prophet Saleh? Was it oh, number no, one? Sir. Hold on. Was it number one? A camel? Or number was two? A snake. <laughs> If you think it was a camel, write number one. If you think it was a snake, write number two. Adam's written number one. A camel. Abdullah. A camel. Mariam. A camel. Abdurrahman. Uh, I think it's going to be... Camel or snake? No, it's always a camel. A camel. Correct answer is a camel. Well is done, everybody. Good? Yeah. Prophet Saleh. He was a prophet. Prophet Saleh? Yeah. I thought you said Saleh. No, Prophet Saleh. There's so no you guessed and you got it right. Well done. Everyone got the correct answer. MashaAllah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number three, everybody. Which part of the Prophet Sallallahu body used to swell and become big sometimes because he would pray for so long? Was it number one, his hands, or number two, his feet? Right, number one for hands, or number two for feet? Abdullah, we're coming to you first. Let's go to Abdullah first. Hands or feet, number one or number two? Abdullah said number two for feet. Mariam said number two. Adam? Number two. Abdurrahman? Number two. Correct answer is number two. Yes. The feet of the Prophet used to swell. You know, they all copied me. Did they? So basically, I wrote number two. Abdullah said. I made it Because Adam copies everything Abdullah says. And then Barbie just copied all of us. It's all right. Well, alhamdulillah, even. Okay, it doesn't matter. At least now we all know the correct answer. So it was the feet. But do you know why his feet used to swell, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Because he used to stand. Because he used to stand for so long praying to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Well done, everybody. Everyone got the correct answer. MashaAllah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Now remember, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's calling people openly to believe in Allah. Okay. Now, Maryam, it was in the fourth year of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's prophethood, which makes him how old? One second, forty-four. Well done, 44. He was 44 years old. And Abdurrahman, let me ask you a question actually. Which pillar in Islam, in Islam involves around going around the Kaaba? Make sure you click like before you go on. Hey, 
Hajj, excellent, very good. So the Prophet Sallallahu he used to call people to believe in Allah when they used to come for? Hajj. Hajj, excellent. You've done, done Hajj, you've done Hajj, you've done Hajj. I have, alhamdulillah. Why, Why were they going to Hajj if they didn't believe? Excellent, so they so weren't going to Hajj to, to worship Allah, they were going to visit their yeah. idols, their idols that were around the Kaaba. Dad, yeah? you weren't Did I? Are you yeah, sure? without us. Yeah, because you were, weren't born. Oh, you were, but you were just very young. You went like in October. No, Umrah, you Umrah. went like last month. You're talking about Umrah? Yeah. That was Umrah. Without us. Yeah. Inshallah, we can go this year. So and maybe went, we can ask anyone at home to join us as well. You went twice. Yeah, this you went year. twice. So, alhamdulillah. So, Adam, was the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a magician? No, he wasn't. He's a prophet. He's a prophet, exactly. He's a prophet and he can't be a magician. Exactly, he can't be a magician. He's better than me. He was better, he beat the magician, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he had a gigantic snake. Exactly. But Talking about Prophet Musa, how yeah. many magicians were there? There were, uh, that's a good question, I don't know how many magicians were there. There were like a hundred or something? Yeah, it was quite a lot Prophet of magicians. Prophet Musa got a hundred followers. <laughs> well, he beat the magician, so he'd have even yeah, more. And yeah, and all the magicians became Muslims. Exactly. So, so he got a hundred Muslims. Yeah, alhamdulillah he did. But in this episode here, the Quraysh, the Quraysh was the name of the tribe of the yeah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Quraysh? The Quraysh included... Um, all of the people living in that area. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. They said to the people at Hajj time, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's not really a prophet, he's a magician. And so they tried to trick people. But what did we learn from today? We learned that as long as we tell the truth and believe in Allah, then Allah will protect us. Like how? Like he protected Muhammad Sallam. by the guy From who? From What was her name? Um? Um, 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 Jamila no, Um Jamil, excellent yeah. What time is the boy? Meet me someone like Um Jamil I don't know about that Let me know if that happens Okay everyone say Asalaamu Alaikum Asalaamu Alaikum Click subscribe now Click like Don't forget your workbooks And your Azhari dinosaurs From the Azhari.com We'll see you soon, inshallah.